This is a shout out to the Donald, or at least that inner part of the Donald that's still Grandpa Frederick. Because I know a lot of it is still in you because I can see it every time you open your mouth. It makes me want to puke. Grandpa Frederick, in case you didn't know, the biggest pimp that ever walked the West Coast. He came down to Seattle here where I am, picking up as many young girls and women as he could, took them up to the Klondike Yukon territories and pimped them out. You never want to talk about him, do you? I know you were the chosen one by Frederick. See, my friend Klaus grew up right in the next hamlet from your family way back when, where everybody did pretty much the same thing in your area, which was make wine. But Frederick, you didn't want to do it. You just wanted to be rich, and you didn't care how you got rich. So you left home because you didn't want to work, and you handed all your money down to your chosen one, Donald. And he didn't want to go in the army. So all he did is paid his way out by getting deferments to go to whatever Wharton school or whatever school it was. Well, he barely went anyway because he sure as hell didn't learn anything. He's got your cash, right? He didn't have to go to school. Let me put it this way. I've been fighting pimps since I was 19. I never liked them then and I don't like them now. We traveled all the way down to San Francisco to stop some pimps from turning out some little... 15 and 16 year old girls, I'm fighting you because you're a pimp. You want to pimp everybody. You want to get all our money. You don't want to go and fight a war, but you'll go and start one because you don't have the brains to know what's going on. And you want my vote? I'd rather cut my wrist and my throat. So I couldn't vote. But I'm going to vote against you, that's for damn sure. I would never, ever vote for somebody as low as you and your grandpa Frederick living inside you. You'll say anything to anybody to get whatever it is you want. You never did anything in your whole life for anybody other than yourselves. All of you. All you Trumps. But you want us to do something for you. Well, that's about all I have to say to and about you for now. Don't make me have to come back and tell you again.